if I compare this play back to even the first two plays that I wrote, which were 51,000 and 59,000 words long, this play, let me see here, uh, word count, this is 29,000 words, just shy, about 300 words shy of 30,000. So this is about half as long as the longest play that I've written. Although this musical will probably go longer because of all the song lyrics and whatnot. But in a sense, this is a much richer play, even than that play with, you know, my father and Aunt Darla. And that's a great play. And that's the, that's the thing that that's the thing that that really excites me about art and, and uh, invigorates me is that I can do something. And even when I look, if I look back at old poems that I wrote 20 years ago versus the, the poems that I wrote only... Uh, in the last year or two before I stopped writing poems. Or if I look back at even some some moments in some of the smaller early novels I did, like Bit of Golem, and then I compare them to my uh, heroic trilogy, there's great writing there. And it's undeniable. I look at some of Jessica's early books, and there's great writing there. It's not as concentrated as, as example as some of our latest stuff, because we've gotten better. But you can't deny the, the greatness there. Just like I can't deny that those first two plays were great, and I would say that I start out at minimum at, at an equal level or slightly above the best plays that ever written right there. I've gone so far beyond it. This Charlotte play is is so much richer and more poetic and the technique and it, 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 the complex. And this is, this is, again, this is why art is... You can be great and what... Try to think, if you look at any other kind of discipline, philosophy, you know, how do you, you, you can't, there's no way to get, you know, you, you're going by 10 to the 10 powers more, more richly here in just this arc of 50 plays. You can't proceed like that in philosophy or science. I mean, uh, and every, every play that I've done has a lesson for me to learn for the next play to get better, even if it's not a more complex play, like the, the the next play after this, which is actually written two plays later about this girl Francine, is not as complex a play as the Charlotte play, but that was a that was an intentional choice to strip it down. Uh, um, but anyway, you know that's that's true too. Is that Woody Allen has in Hannah and Her Sisters a quote where he talks about how he's thought like the great philosophers, and he doesn't see much difference between them. Uh, the great Greek philosophers specifically and many people are able to have memories that connect one memory to another just as you do at the end of the play but few great people unlike great artists can tie them together yeah and and that's the thing you know I, i've talked about uh we were talking before about uh, some young people that we know and uh, uh i i get i still get tons of emails from people uh or i argue with people on twitter or something and I, I'm just stunned with with how one dimensional and binary most people think. They have no ability to get beyond the thing. We we got to do. We got to support Bernie Sanders. We got to do this. We got to get rid of Trump. We got to get. Uh, and they don't have an ability to to see a problem. I mean, I can read something. I can be presented with a situation, and not always, but maybe eighty percent of the time, it's rather easy and apparent what to do. Uh, in art, for example, after I go over something, like I, when I was writing this musical yesterday, um, I was I was, I was I was finishing, I think, scene 15 or 16. I've done 15 or 16 because I'm, what I'm going to do is write all the scenes initially. Then I'm going to go through and, and, and make the, the musical, the, the initial rock opera musical fully formed. And then I'll do the alternate scenes so that I have some time to do it. Um, uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, these things, uh, anyway, I forgot my point now, but th th there you go. There, there, there's the way that the mind works is that things flit in and out. That's why I write a lot of things down. Jessica always makes fun of me for carrying a notepad or whatnot, but it, it's good that I carry the notepad because I can write these things down and by, and, and otherwise those things would be gone. I mean, uh, yes, you know, I've got. I could show you if, if I'm, I'm I'm turning you you don't see it but but people whoops uh, yeah there you can see on my laptop and you can see a whole host of uh, multicolored sheets and whatnot and those are initial ideas 
from a year and a half or so ago for plays uh, when I was uh, working at the, the school system as a custodian. Uh, and I've got 25 ideas for plays that I haven't even touched yet because I've had all these other ideas come in between. But there's going to come a time when, you know, I'm, I'm in a rut and I'll, I'll open one and I'll say, oh, bang, that'll be the one I'm going to do next. So you always save ideas. This is why, you know, you never you should never throw away something if you're an artist. You never burn your old work. You should never, uh, you should always have that there because uh, the mind, if, if you're really going like an engine, it feeds on itself and it just keeps turning. It's like constantly shoveling coal into into the, whatchamacallit, the, 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 the engine.